in ASMR or not that uploads the what I got for Christmas video, I will be watching. It's interesting. I'm nosy and it gives me ideas to like gift people in the future. So I see why it's a great trend. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not a braggy type. I actually really, to be fully transparent, and I'm not just saying this because I'm filming, I had a moment this year and I'm always grateful every year, but I had a moment this year where I was sitting in my car Christmas Eve and I had just left church and I was on my way to my family's house and I just had a moment of like, wow, I am like, like blessed doesn't even cover, like I'm like dumb blessed, you know, like I really just had a moment where I was like, wow, and just had a really like, like feeling of just a moment of just gratitude. Anyway, so I feel really, really blessed to have things to even show you in this video, so I'm excited to share with you. Before we get started though, I need a moment. I've been waiting months to show you this. Months. If you know, you know. I got this water for my cousin for Christmas and I loved it so much that I was like, I need one as well. Here we are. I have many Christmas sweaters and this is the only one that matters. Thank you very much. Okay. So, um, I don't really know what order I'm gonna, there's no order, I just kind of piled things here and we're just gonna go through. So the first thing I will share with you, I can't physically show you in this video because it's huge, but I will insert a picture. The one thing that I actually really asked for for Christmas was a luggage set. Since I moved away from home, my mom and I were like sharing a luggage set because I never had one of my own. And she doesn't live like super far. She lives like 45 minutes from me. Um, but like when I needed it, I would have to go home and get it and then I'd have to bring it back because she needed it. And so I needed one of, of my own. And my family and I, we, we were at a point now where we're like, you know what? We're gonna get each other gifts. It's Christmas, that's what we do. We're not gonna do the guessing game anymore because there's nothing worse than spending money on something. You give it to somebody and they don't use it. So we're like, our mentality now, both on my mom's side and my dad's side is like, this is something that I am planning on getting for myself if you need gift ideas. And so that's just kind of what we do. We're like, you know what, this is something I could really use, something I really need. So it may not be like full of surprises Christmas day because you may know what's coming, but at least we're not like wasting anybody's money or anybody's time shopping, you know? So, so that is the first thing. I have a beautiful, beautiful luggage set and now I just need somewhere to travel um, to use them, but super thankful um, for that luggage set, really. Um, okay. Again, in no particular order. Um, this is from my stepdad, and he got one for pretty much everyone. I got one last year for Christmas as well, and it is a Woodwick candle. Woodwicks are now like my favorite candles. It is exactly what it sounds like. The wick inside is made of wood, so I'll show you. You can see that in there. That's the wick. And so it crackles when you light it. It crackles like a fireplace, like wood. Um, and it's just so calming. It's so relaxing. And wood wick candles in general, the scent, they're just like crazy, crazy scented. Um, you could smell it from a mile away. So this one is it's a trilogy, so it's three scents. It's apple basket then spiced blackberry in the middle, and then pumpkin butter, so kind of fall scents, but whatever, who cares. Um, he got me one last year, and that candle, man, I told him this year when I opened this one, I was like, that candle got me through some really hard times, um, when I was like down bad early 2023, and I was just having my like alone time at home, like watching Survivor, I watched a lot of Survivor early this year, and I would light my candle, and just the sound was like comforting, and reminded me of home, and so now I have another one. What do I candles? 
are a little pricey. That's why I don't really buy them for myself. I actually bought one for my stepmom this year for Christmas. Um, but like the long ones, these are the best ones because they're the loudest with the crackling scent. So I love these. I think Yankee Candle like sells them and you can get them on Amazon too, I think. Um, so I'm so excited. This is going right on my entertainment center in my living room. Um, this watch I'm actually obsessed with, obsessed with. It is from my aunt and it is a gold watch by the brand uh, Ristology. I will show you. You guys know I wear my, look at that, it's beautiful. I wear my Apple watch like, pretty much every day. I like to track my workouts and, and all the things, um, but it's nice to like have something nicer where I don't want, I don't want to wear my Apple watch, but at least I can still know the time. It's just a nice like accessory. Um, yeah, if I want to, if I'm dressing up for something a little more formal or like I tend to like on dates, I don't wear my Apple watch because I think it's distracting and I like want to be present, but then my wrist feels naked. So I, you know, so, I don't know, and then you know, you know I'm a gold girly lately, so I just love this, and my dad helped me fit it to my wrist, because I have really, really tiny wrists. It's actually very annoying, so I had to slide the adjuster, like, all the way up here, but now it fits perfectly, and I love it, so that is from my aunt. Super grateful for that. That's like, I put it on that day I opened it. On Christmas Eve, and I put it on. That same aunt, I guess I'll just stay on her for right now. She is my Zia. Zia is Italian for aunt. So she is Zia. And um, she got me these pajama pants. If you guys know me, you know I love to be cozy. It's by the brand Sonoma Straight Fit Sleepwear High Rise. I'm just that annoying person. 
person and so I love fuzzy socks and so she got me two actually and I don't know where the other pair are but they came in a pack of two so these beige ones and then the other ones are gray I believe they have these little pom poms and they have grips on the bottom so I don't slide everywhere and they are just lined with this like fleece material inside I brought them to my mom's yesterday when I went home for Christmas and my mom's house is always freezing I know that because I lived there for four years in that house it is always cold so I brought this and it saved my life but they're beautiful you guys know me how clearly I love neutral colors and neutral aesthetics so this is right up my alley so I love these and it's funny because I went home and as soon as I got to my mom's I put these on and I was like mom look what Zia got me because I do Christmas Eve with dad's side and Christmas Day with mom's side and so I was like look mom and she was like oh nice and then when she gave me my presents this was the first thing I opened and she also got me fuzzy socks but these are a little different in that they're like ankle booties which I actually really love too I've never had fussy socks like this that are just ankle booties. They're by the same brand as the ones that Zia got me. So they have the grips on the bottom. And they are this like red, green, blue pattern. And they, they will all be put to use. All of them. I love all the fussy socks. And even when I went to Seattle, I got a pair of fussy socks from Seattle. So now I'm just I'm just set for a while. Okay, let's get into this now. This is actually really cool. Let me take the bow off. Hold on. It's kind of distracting. So this is fermented Tito's. So vodka, essentially, that has been sitting with this fruit for I don't even know how long. So it's straight vodka. So I'm not going to drink this like but it's meant to be like a mixer type thing so with seltzer she said to make like a mule some ginger beer and whatever um so i don't know when i'm gonna use this um i'm not a big tito's girl uh but i'm very curious to see how it tastes with all the fruits actually probably gonna taste really good i see cinnamon sticks cranberry lemons oranges uh rose So I'm sure this is gonna taste great. My, this is from, I don't even know if I said it, but this is from my stepsister. And she loves making like cocktails. I think last year I got her like a cocktail recipe book. She loves making stuff like this. So I gotta put this in the fridge, but maybe for New Year's I'll make a little, little drinky drink with it. I don't know, but I thought that was so sweet of her. She made one for my mom too, which was really nice. Okay, uh, oh, this is also from Zia, I forgot. Um, this is a, like, it's an organizer for, I don't know, like, skincare products or makeup, really whatever you want, perfume, and it rotates, which is cool. I don't want to make too much noise with it. It's from Amazon. It was, it was fairly, fairly cheap, but I just need, I'm in, like, my organization era where I just, I have a lot of little things and I need to find a way to store them all. My bathroom just doesn't have a lot of storage. I have like the most thin little medicine cabinet and like it's just me that lives here. Imagine if I was like married. I think about that often where like if one day, if when I get married, when, when I get married, are you moving in here? Because I, I barely have room for my things. Um, so this is, it was meant for the bathroom, but this actually ended up being bigger than I thought it was, even though I, like, measured beforehand. It came out a lot bigger. It don't fit in my bathroom. I have no counter space in my bathroom. So, it might have to go in my room somewhere. Like, up on my dresser, maybe. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, Mr. Pearl died. He died the same weekend of the car accident, so that was just a fun weekend. Um, I think... I got him sick. I think he came sick. Um, anyway, so the fish tank is empty. And I don't think I'm going to be getting a new fish anytime soon. So I might take the fish tank out and put it like in storage and put this there with maybe like. 
like a plant or something. I don't know. Also, yeah, if you didn't know, Mr. Pearl was my fish. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he didn't last as long as Cheeto did, but it's okay. R.I.P. Anyway, all that to say that this is probably going to go up on my dresser because it just doesn't fit in my bathroom, but I, I need, I need this. I need organization in my life, so... It's actually really nice, and they had it in different colors and everything, and it was really easy to assemble. So, the lighting in this video is just, I think it's also because this is a light color shirt, and I have the light on in the background. I don't know. But it's okay, we're just gonna keep rocking. The next thing is from my dad and my family. Um, is this beautiful coat. Is this a pea coat? this count as a pea coat? Yeah, right. I don't have nice coats. I have just like winter, like bubbly jackets. I had one pea coat and it doesn't fit me anymore. Um, so I wanted a nice coat that I could like wear to church, wear on New Year's, wear to any formal event. Every time I go to a, wed a wedding in the winter, I either just don't wear a jacket and freeze myself or I wear the bubbly jacket and then I just keep it in the car. So I just needed something nice. And I had my eye on this and again, like I said, I was gonna buy it for myself. Um, but they were nice enough to get this for me. Um, it's hard to show you because it's quite long, but it just has like four buttons in the middle. So it only buttons in the middle. So this kind of stays open and it stays a little bit on the bottom. Um, but it's beautiful. It fits perfectly. It's this nice, like, khaki color. I really like it. It has pockets. It's perfect. Perfect. It's exactly, exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. Um, so, I will be wearing that this weekend, I think. Um, there's my phone. I was looking for my phone. It was under the pile of everything. Um, let me get, just get that out of the way. <laughs> This is funny, this is from my sister, and it's funny because she texted me like the week before Christmas. My sister is 17 years old for context, and she texted me last week, and she was like, are you team Edward or team Jacob? And I knew she was talking about Twilight. She knows I'm a Twilight fan, and she recently, within the last like year, I think, watched the movies for the first time with my stepmom. It's one of those things where, like, you recognize how horrible of, of a movie series it is, but it just captivates you. Yes, it's like a cult. Um, and so, anyway, so now she can relate to the Twilight, you know, inside jokes and stuff, which I love. And when I went to Seattle with my cousin, we were constantly making Twilight references. I made a TikTok all about it. It's very funny. The TikTok is down in the description if you're curious. Um, one of the, the things that we said in the video, one of the references was when Edward says, this is the skin of a killer Bella. And he like dazzles in the sunlight because he's a vampire. So she got me this little pouch. <laughs> and I'm going to use it. I could always use a little pouch or like a travel something. I just think this is hysterical. This is the skin of a killer Bella. I wonder what the Jacob one was, because when I answered her text, I said, Team Edward. I wonder what the Jacob one would have been. I don't know where she got this from. I, I know nothing, but I just think that this is the funniest thing ever. And I love it. Like, she's older now, where we can, like, bond over these things. It's great. Okay. Um, next up, I'll only bring out one, but there's two of them. I did ask on my little my little list for ankle weights because I was again going to grab some myself. You guys know I have I get on the treadmill every morning four or five times a week. Uh, I walk for an hour. I walk my little three three and a half miles, and it's a good workout. But I kind of want to push myself a little bit more. But it's not the type. It's a walking pad, so you can't run on it. Um, so I'm incorporating ankle weights. These are like three pounds. It's not like anything crazy, but these will go on my ankles when I walk just to add a little, a little something extra. 
to the workout. Um, you can also put these on your wrists too. It's really not just for ankles, but they're little weights that you can strap on with Velcro. So I have two of these that I will be using this week because my stomach, I'm not even like, I'm not the type, like I, I don't shape myself for like indulging on the holidays. Um, but my stomach does because my stomach really is is yelling at me for the decisions I made this weekend. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> the cookie though was worth it. The desserts were worth it. The lasagna was worth it. It was all worth it. But anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into my routine and using these. So I'm excited. On the same wavelength, my dad and family, just from the family, um, got me a yoga mat. And I am torn between, I, I, want, I needed a mat to put under the walking bed just because I feel like it's messing up my rug a little bit. Um, so this will either go under the walking pad or when I like work out my arms with my weights at home, I do everything at home. Um, and for some of it, I lay on the floor and do it, and it's not very comfortable because I have hardwood floors where I work out. So, um, either one, I don't know. Um, and also, when I go, I want to go to like a workout class at my church, um, and you have to bring your own yoga mat. And so, long story short, I needed one of these. It's from Amazon, it's by like Amazon Basics. It's just black all the way around, but they have other colors. Um, and then it comes with straps here. I don't know if you can see, it has straps taped here so that you can like carry it like a little backpack, which is cool. So, ow, as I hit myself in the face, my dad was really proud of the way he wrapped this. He just wrapped it like a cylinder and then like scrunched the sides and made it look like a little Tootsie Roll. He was very proud of it. Um, so, this will absolutely be put to use. I have to find a spot for it if I'm not putting it under the walking pad, but that's like, that's a tomorrow problem. Um, alright, we're almost done. This is actually very, very sentimental. This is from my dad, and so this, I'm just gonna show you. This picture is from my sweet 16. Okay, I'm gonna give you a close-up here. That is from my sweet 16. And it is during my slow dance with my dad. So that was little 16 year old me. Back of my dad's head. And we always just, we always really, really loved this picture. Um, my dad's a sentimental dude. And so he just like looks at this picture and cries. Um, and so he's like, for years I've wanted to get that printed for you. Um, so that you can have it up. <laughs> like, it's so sweet and I love it. I will be putting it up on my bookshelves. But it's just funny because I was like, <laughs> it's been 11 years, but okay. Um, it was very cute though. I opened it and he was like, oh, even looking at it now, I could cry. And I always like, I know his face so well. I can tell when he gets emotional. I remember what we were talking about during this dance. I remember that I was saying to him, like, wow, I'm surprised you're not crying. Because again, he's like an emotional dude. Um, but I think all of the eyes on him at the Sweet 16 just, I don't know, like made him not uncomfortable, but just like, you know, when you're just in, in the spotlight and you, it just, just distracts you from like your emotions. I don't know, I've felt that before, so I think that's probably what it was. He did say he cried a lot that day, but I guess he just did it in private, so. <laughs> but yeah. So, I'm gonna put this up on my, on my bookshelf. It's very sweet. It almost looks like a wedding photo, but I was 16, so. I can assure you I am not married, never have been married. But I can imagine, on my wedding day, the mess that is going to be my father. It's really funny. Um, alright, and there's one more thing. My mom got me this, she saw it at Costco, and she was like, I just thought you'd like it. <laughs> so sweet. Uh, it's a robe. It's a nice purple, fluffy robe. Is it from Costco? 
this looks it's giving Costco, but it's not by Kirkland. It's a uh, Carol Hodgman long plush wrap robe, luxuriously soft with patch pockets. I love I love pockets, man. I think all dresses and robes and everything should have pockets. I do have a robe currently, but it's a lot thinner than this. Not as warm, and it doesn't have pockets. So maybe that'll be like my summer robe, and this will be my winter robe. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but it is nice and blushy. My stepsister got one, too. Um, hers was pink. Pink and white. This one is just plain purple, which I like purple. Um, so yeah. That's what it looks like. So, I love this. I have hooks like on the back of my bathroom door, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook it there. And that is really it, guys. There were a couple other little things. Like Zia is very, very, very cute, and she always gives my sister and I a stocking and fills it with like chapsticks and lotions and hand wipes and makeup wipes and deodorant and like it's always like little travel size and I looked at her today or the other day when I opened it and I said I just want you to know that like I actually use everything you give me she gave me tic tacs she gave me little like bocce chocolates it's like an Italian chocolate um bocce's kiss um and they have little um like a little hazelnut on top of the chocolate and the whole thing is dipped in chocolate it's very good it's kind of like the same wavelength as like the Ferrero Rocher's um but a little bit better in my opinion um and like always puts she always puts candy canes in the, in the stockings it's very very sweet um I actually have two packets of Ferrero Rocher chocolates on my dining room table because just every year my mom gives me one and Zia gives me one it's just like tradition at this point um, and then every year I bring them to work because I can't, I can't have them. I pride myself on like a lot of things. One thing I do not pride myself in is like my self-control when it comes to chocolate and sweets. I just can't have it here. I can't. And I know, so I know my limits. I know my weaknesses. So I bring it to work so that other people can indulge in them. And so they're not here. I'll have one or two probably later after I eat dinner, but um, I'm going to share the share with my coworkers, and they always appreciate it. So anyway, that is it for my Christmas haul 2023. It was a very good Christmas, very good holiday season, and I meant to say this in the beginning of the video, but I was thinking about you guys a lot on Christmas Day and Christmas Eve, just like wishing that you guys having a good day surrounded by you know people that you love or even if you were working I mean I've been there I have worked on the holidays I have I have done it it's rough so just know that if you had to work I see you and I I, I appreciate you and I respect you um, and I just hope that you guys had a good holiday season I hope that you all have um, a great New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and that you bring it in however you want to, whether that's staying home and doing nothing or going out and doing something. Um, and it's going to be a great 2024. I have a very good feeling about it. So thank you guys for being here. I think this is the last video of the year, right? Yeah, that's wild. So this is the last video of 2023. I will have a video for you on New Year's Day. Um, even though it is a holiday, but when you're winding down New Year's Day, getting ready to go back to work on the second, I will have a video for you. Um, so I will see you guys on Monday, but thank you again for being here. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.